All right, welcome. Um, thanks everyone for being here. What we're having today with the Mintbase Grant Demo Day is the culmination of work that's gone on for almost a year. Starting in um, 2022, uh, we received $600,000 from the NEAR Foundation and a pass-through grant to award uh, different projects building NFT infrastructure on NEAR. And um, there was a lot of applications. There were a lot of projects that were building really cool stuff. But ultimately, we end up, ended up funding 17. Um, and we have a majority of those projects actually presenting today, not only what they're doing and the, the work that, they're, that they've you know, been building on, but also the tech that's now available for everyone else. Um, we've got a very packed agenda, so I'm going to keep it short and now introduce Nate, founder of um, Mintbase and CEO, who's going to give a little bit of uh, background on what we've been doing. Yeah, so like Paul said, uh, it's, been, it's been a mission. It's our first grants program that we've ever done, uh, our first cohort. Uh, we've never done a grants program before, so we're learning on the fly as we go. And overall, pretty, pretty excited to see the output. Uh, we see developers still devving, uh, people are shipping, and having that sort of close contact, uh, I think, has really helped uh, the, the projects. Great. So, like we said, we uh, received six hundred thousand dollars from the Near Foundation. Uh, we took zero of this as, uh, from for management fees, so it just came to us and went right to the projects. We're really proud of the transparency of it. Everything is done through uh, GitHub. Uh, applicants applied; uh, they requested funds, the amount uh, to which Near account they should go to, and what milestones they need. So anyone can go on to GitHub and see those approved projects uh, in the applications, and you can see that we have over 61 new applicants. If you go into the pull request uh, range, which uh, we'll be hopefully hitting soon uh, if, if the next round of, uh, of Near Foundation uh, funding goes through. Uh, you can also go and look up mintbasegrants.near on the Explorer and see all of the funds uh, going to other folks. So kind of a neat world of transparency uh, cruising through. So first thing is building a company is really hard. It doesn't happen overnight, and the hardest fact is when you build and start a company, you're basically on your own for the most part. As much as your mom loves you and your coworkers and all your friends love you, basically when you say I'm starting a company, they all look like you. you know, they look at you like you're a crazy person, and no one's gonna lift a finger to help. And you, you kind of figure like, oh, this person I worked at at Nike, you know, eventually will help me, you know, introduce me to the right people. Basically, you start your own company, and you're you're on your little lifeboat, and you just get tossed out to sea. So uh, that said, I, we really want to create a program that kind of helps uh, give these companies that are building on top of us a legitimate because they vetted through our system and, uh, and giving them the hard fact reality is this stuff is hard. So Mintbase, we, uh, I first won a hackathon in 2018. We built on Ethereum and uh, moved over in 2020. We were self-funded for two full years. So I know what a lot of these grants programs are kind of going through. Okay, cool. So we've had a long, hard world of testing, seeing if things work, seeing uh, we created a ticketing system for the Meta Cartel back in 2019. I mean, that was a long time ago. I think the real hype cycle didn't start until 2021. So we had gone through a lot of successes and failures over almost five years of, of cranking. Two years of self-funding, of brutal, no one giving us money because they thought NFTs were nothing, uh, to a seed round where we uh, built that out of here at Lisbon and grew our company just slightly, uh, and then raised a seven and a half million dollar round uh, years later. So we're talking, this is not an overnight success. Mintbase hasn't figured everything out yet. Uh, but we're here for the long haul and the long term, and uh, now we're, we're really in a nice position where we can start taking our experience and uh, helping out other grantees uh, to also embark on this horribly long mission uh, of building our own companies and, and really believing in what we're trying to achieve. Uh, so the future is just getting started. Uh, experiment and lead or get left behind. Um, the main point of this is uh, don't feel like you're alone right now. Uh, nobody has product market fit. 
Like blockchain, doesn't matter if you're on Near or if you're on Ethereum or if you're on whatever. I don't care where you're at, everyone's kind of going. We thought this blockchain thing was going to take off. And we're all kind of a little bit sad that the reality is we're kind of still in this. There's no real utility going on, no matter what chain you're at. Uh, and we're still in like the speculation dr overdrive, no matter what chain you're at. So just keep focusing on if you believe in whatever technology you're running on, uh, that's important to, to keep on cranking on that. And we are still cranking. Um, so what is MintBase? Uh, we're a no-code creator suite, uh, developer SDK, and a marketplace. So you can use MintBase in all sorts of different forms. You don't have to use all of our stuff. In fact, we have too much stuff to use all of it. Uh, but leverage us for even the smallest of things. If you de deploy your own smart contract in your own ecosystem, not through our no-code developer suite, you can leverage our testnet or mainnet UI to make sure you guys are, you know, you're minting your NFTs correctly. So. Uh, the no-code creator suite is crazy powerful. Like I said, we built this on Ethereum way back in the day with you owning your own smart contract uh, in mind. You get your own contract, your own keys, uh, and you can do a lot with that. It's not de deploying or minting on someone else's contract. This is your own contract that you can add your own minters to uh, through uh, various different tools. Um, we just announced a, a Stripe. Uh, we're working with Stripe heavily, and we're, but we're slowly rolling out that system because we want to make sure we're doing that partnership correctly. Uh, the developer side, it's, it's a heavy, heavy world. We have a in GraphQL indexer. You can reach any data on Near, whether it's you know, minted on MintBase or sold on MintBase or bought on Paras or any of these other platforms. Uh, you can use MintBase to get all that information or just see what those NFTs look like. Uh, and the main thing is I think we're one of the only uh, platforms that have uh, audited code, which means just last month we completed an audit where we believe our contracts are uh, SAFU. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, you can go through and it's all open source. You can actually jump in and uh, see all the different uh, contract codes. You can fork it. We have MintBase JS, which enables you to uh, make any transaction. Any transaction we do on MintBase uh, uses that, so we know it works, so you can have that as well. And we have a deploy your own uh, NFT marketplace tool uh, for Next.js. So it's a lot of stuff. It sounds like a lot of stuff. If you're a developer, uh, come jump in and mess around. Uh, but if you're not a developer, we have tons of uh, UX updates. We've basically been hammering the team the last couple months to, you know, we've built so many pages and there's so much information and so many bugs were happening because there was just so much. Uh, we really kind of cut half of MintBase down and now it's a lot cleaner, easier to click around and it's super powerful when you're managing, you know, I'm personally managing probably 20 smart contracts. You know, I, I think the future is me managing contracts, you having different auth on my contract, uh, and off we go. Again, there's our Stripe payment. We have a few folks that are starting to implement it, um, but pretty exciting. And then the core of MintBase is basically our affiliate program. So we are giving half of our market fee to other folks that, let's say, your trade port. They're our number one uh, affiliate direct uh, group. And you could buy MintBase minted and listed NFTs on Tradeport. Um, we told Tradeport, all you have to do when you do your purchase, just add one little extra field called affiliate ID, uh, tradeport.near, and we're going to share half that market fee with you. What that's going to allow you to do is build your own, your own systems, your own marketplaces, uh, and get a business model right from, from the ground. Um, so what is the grant program to me when we look at a company like WallID? This is like the perfect example of where we want these grants to go. They shouldn't just be built in isolation and that's it, right? Uh, what we're using with WallID is uh, slick images, uh, which we'll, we'll uh, talk with uh, Baron Davis uh, quite soon. So basically, his idea is fascinating. It's image licensing, where imagine you're able to take a, f an, a photo and within time uh, upload that to a market and allow all these different folks around the world to purchase the image licensing to stick that image up on a blog somewhere. So we're going, okay, that sounds great, but how do we do this in Nearland? Uh, what if uh, I'm, you add a royalty of someone who's actually in the image, or maybe there's five people within the image? 
uh, but you know that they don't have near accounts, obviously. So Mintbase took on the task of, okay, well, let's create a system where you can put in a Twitter account, uh, let's say, at Nate Geyer, um, and then as soon as you mint that, we'll automatically generate a uh, account ID for you. Uh, and that mint, every time it gets bought, every uh, royalties will actually go into those accounts every single time it gets bought and rebought. Uh, we'll ping the uh, Twitter account ID, and through wall ID, uh, a DID structure, you're able to actually claim that account in a decentralized way later on. So uh, if someone wants to get their money later on, uh, it's theirs, they can claim it, and then off they go. Um, really fascinating stuff. Also, uh, we really pioneered fully interoperable systems on Near, and I think we should be really proud of what that means. It means everyone has their own contract, their own keys, uh, and they can all work within our markets, but we can partner with folks like SailGP without actually being a partner. Uh, they're building assets. Our system can interact with those assets. You guys can build uh, off of our dev tools to actually interact with those assets being generated, and this is where Interop is actually quite fascinating. It's, uh, it's just making that data available for all the folks to, to mess around. Yeah, so here I was able to actually go in and mint, and then over to the right, you can see my account went up, and then we're able to actually see the NFT on, on Mintbase land. So they own the contract, they own the keys, Mintbase has nothing to do with that, and we're here. When you look at a system kind of like Solana or Metaplex, I'm quite sure Metaplex is the owner of almost the entire NFT architecture. Um, so we should be really proud on Near that we've followed this sort of everyone has their own smart contract, and we can go from there. So that said, uh, our team, we're cranking hard. We're working really, really hard. Uh, you can see my GitHub is still kind of green, and it shouldn't be. The team's GitHub is, is very green. We're all building 100% on Near right now, and uh, it's just, uh, it's a lot. Um, we're really gonna start shining the light on the account abstraction system, uh, and uh, Micro's gonna tell you more on that, but essentially being able to create accounts for folks and then enabling them to remove our access later on uh, is, is incredibly powerful. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to hand off the mic to Mr. Mikro, uh, who's been really pioneering a lot of the things.